Hey what's up guys welcome to Fine Gap YouTube channel and in today's video we will learn about how to make splash screen in Android Studio here you can see that the demo of our splash screen when we will click on our app our splash activity will be open for 3 seconds and then it will move toward the next activity and before start please i request you to subscribe our youtube channel to stay up to date with latest programming videos first of all we will create new activity to create new activity right click on app folder new activity and mpt activity type here splash activity and press finish button this is front end of our splash activity now we will design it i am going to copy this logo copy this and go to your android studio right click on your drivable folder and click on paste button select the drivable folder and press ok button and uh, you can give any name to your logo press ok button and uh, drag and drop an image view select this avatars press ok button and uh, constrain it to the top constrain it to the bottom constraint right and constraint left go to its code and remove this line and type here android colon source at the rate of drivable forward slash logo i am going to choose its width would be 150 dp and its height would be also 150 dp so guys you can see that our splash screen have been designed now we will write the backend code for our splash activity go to splash activity and here we have to create an object of handler class type here handler and uh, also give the name of our object handler is equal to new handler semicolon and inside your own create method you have to type handler dot post delete new runnable and guys at this position you have to type 3000 milliseconds what it means that uh, when user will open our app uh, our splash activity will be open for three seconds and uh, then it will move to the next activity and here inside this method we have to write the code so our splash activity will move toward main activity so here you have to type intent intent is equal to new intent and splash activity dot this comma and main activity dot class semicolon start activity here we have to pass the intent and at last we have to type finish method so guys you can see that the code for our splash activity have been completed here we have to type semicolon and now we have to open our android manifest.xml file and uh, copy this splash activity and paste it uh, inside this position and copy this main activity and paste it at this position so basically our main activity was our launcher activity but uh, we have converted our splash activity to our launcher activity so guys now let me run the app so i can show you the output here you can see that our app have been installed to our emulator when i will click on this app you can see that this is our launcher activity and after three seconds it have moved toward main activity so guys i hope that you will must like this video and if you have any question related to this tutorial you can ask us in the comment section we will try to answer your question and please subscribe to our youtube channel to stay up to date with latest programming videos and finally thanks for watching